Parallel action is where the film cuts between two or more different stories that are related. We'd usually expect the scenes to be happening at the same time and in the same place. In Steven Spielberg's Duel, for example, the two stories are happening right next to each other. One story is the train passing through the level crossing. The other story is the truck forcing the car onto the tracks. Parallel action doesn't always have to be so close. In this sequence from Misery, James Kahn is snooping around Kathy Bates' house while she's out. If she catches him, she'll probably do something horrible to him. His story is intercut with her story about returning to the house to generate some dramatic tension. film wasn't always this way. Back when films began, they were one continuous shot from a fixed camera. It took early film pioneers like Porter, Méliès and Griffith to come up with the concept of cutting one image with another and, in so doing, creating the rules of editing that modern filmmakers still use today. Here's another early example from D.W. Griffith of the concept of parallel action. A woman alone on the ice. Left this way, she will surely go over this waterfall to her death. Only this man can save her. We cut between her impending peril and his heroic rescue. impressive stuff considering this was done in an era before digital doubles. Parallel action can be used to suggest a meeting. These feet move from left to right, the others from right to left. It's only natural to assume that where the shots meet, so will the characters. Parallel action is usually done with cross-cutting. We cut back and forth between the different scenes with only one scene on the screen at any one time. But it doesn't have to be this way, as this clip from Kill Bill shows. Here, the juxtaposition of the bride's IV line and the nurse getting an injection ready, combined with the ominous music, creates the idea that this nurse is going to harm the woman. 
This could be done with cross-cutting, but this is Quentin Tarantino, and he does so love to show off. This final example is perhaps the best. There's not much you need to know about this scene, other than the fact that the FBI has a lead on the serial killer Buffalo Bill, and are getting ready to storm the house. Agent Starling, on the other hand, has been sent off somewhere to tie up some loose ends. Let's see how the scene unfolds. So powerful. Precious? Precious? Down here, you sack of shit! <laughs> Put her in that bucket. No, you give me a telephone and lower it down here now! The poorly poo, Precious? Darling, how are you all right? She's in a lot of pain, mister. She needs a vet. She broke her leg on the way down. I know it. She's been licking Hey, don't floor. you hurt my dog! Don't you make me hurt your dog! Good afternoon. Um, sorry to bother you. I'm looking for Mrs. Lippman's family. What's so clever about this scene is that, because of the conventions of parallel action, we expect the FBI to be surrounding the same house that we keep cross-cutting to. When it turns out they aren't, everyone's mind is blown. Jonathan Dem wins the Oscars for Best Director and Best Film, and Parallel Action just got a whole lot weirder. Clarice. 